What's going on, YouTube, man? Shy React is back in the building, man. Just wanted to react to something, man. I just want y'all to say, want y'all to understand this wisdom that I'm about to get y'all if y'all want to get your finances in order. Sometimes you got to watch the people with money and see how they move and see how they act, react to politics. So, without further ado, Mr. Dave Ramsey on the student loan. A bottom. federal appeals court has temporarily blocked President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan, halting any debt from being erased. But the administration is encouraging people to continue submitting their applications. The Friday evening ruling comes less than a week since the application portal went live. Already nearly 22 million people, more than half of qualifying buyers, have signed up. The administration could have begun processing applications and changing loan balances beginning Sunday. The order does not reverse the trial court's dismissal of the case or suggest that the case has merit, the White House Press Secretary said in a statement the block was issued by the u.s eighth circuit court of appeals which is considering a motion from six republican-led states mm. to stop the forgiveness program it's one of several lawsuits that have aimed to challenge the program six states arkansas missouri nebraska iowa kansas and south carolina filed a lawsuit arguing the federal relief program would hurt state-based loan companies that manage some of the loans themselves. Earlier this week, a federal judge dismissed the case, saying it has no standing. I'm going to pause it right there, man. I just want to give y'all some information. It's, it's actually about seven states. You know, they say six states, and some articles are saying seven states have stopped it. And you guys got to understand, man, you know what I mean? These politicians, they just do shit because it sounds good. And the problem is, when you start believing politicians, you, you, you start to understand the game and what it is, man. These, these people understand chess at their finest level. They understand the masses of the population doesn't understand that life situations are difficult to ma manifest in their, their realities or their dreams. So what they're going to do is they're going to tell you good shit that you could possibly do without doing anything that they said they're going to do. They're just going to say it because it, it, it sounds good. It makes you feel good. You know, I mean, this prosperity gospel shit that's going on in, in, in America, it's bullshit. It's backwards. This you got to understand, man, politicians, is they, they, this bullshit. is what they're trying to do. They're trying to lie. They don't care if, it, if, it, if you crash and burn. They don't give a shit. They're just trying to, they're just trying to say things so they can get elected and, and they can get their damn money. Let's continue. Then appeal and ask the federal appeals court to place a temporary hold on the program while the appeals court reviews the case. Uh, one of two things can happen in the upcoming days. Either the court can issue an injunction and the pause will last longer or can dismiss the case and the program can carry on. The Federal Appeals Court is expected to announce a ruling as early as next week. Whew. Man, I've been saying for a while, buckle up, y'all. This is going to get interesting. And it is interesting right now. There's a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions out there. I mean, 22 million people have already applied and are counting on it. But at the same time, there's this block. Now, you go pause and right the there and understand something. Know what that means? He already, Mr. Joe Biden has already stopped the interest payments to, to um, January. So what's going to happen now, they're going to keep pushing this shit to court, is my guess. They're going to keep pushing this shit. They're going to keep prolonging. They're going to keep prolonging. They're going to keep prolonging. And what Joe Biden's going to do is he's going to point to the to the Republican Party and say, it's their fault that we can't pay, that, that we can't approve the, the student loan forgiveness. It's their fault. And the Republican Party is going to point back to them. And it's just going to be a whole big, big clusterfuck. Don't let these people lie to y'all, bro. You know, you guys got to control your own fucking life. You know what I mean? It, it, I, I get into these debates with people 24-7 about what politicians are going to do and what politicians are not going to do. They're full of shit. They're lying. This shit was just a ploy. That man knew motherfuckers wasn't going to pass that through. Joe Biden and his, and, and his party knew what time it was with that. They knew exactly what was going to happen. You know, but... Lo and behold, to make people feel good, they'll tell you some bullshit. It's that fucking simple. Happens that all the time. Let's continue. Jesus Christ. Same time, there's this block, and the pause is coming to an end January 1st, so people are really wondering what's going to happen. I would be very curious to know your thoughts, Dave. Well, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's just a political chessboard. Playing with people's real lives. People's lives are always on the end of the political chessboard. Ugh. But the political chessboard is this. I told you... Uh, last spring in March hmm. to expect President Biden to issue some kind of student loan forgiveness just in time for the midterms Yep. to prop his little political butt up uh, because he's a failed president by any standards. You have to be extremely left wing to think that weekend at Bernie is working up there. Hmm. Okay. It, you just got to be off your rocker now. It's gotten out. The cat's hmm. out of the bag. It's a mess. And, um, <laughs> you know, 
most polls are showing is that these midterms are going to be a bloodbath. Hmm. But aside from that, I'm not a political analyst, but if I were doing politics, if I were in Biden's shoes, I would have done exactly what he's doing. I think it's brilliant. Um, one of the few brilliant things he's actually hmm. done. But um, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, to issue a student loan forgiveness program knowing that it's going to be challenged, knowing that there's some question of the constitutionality that the president has the power to do this. And we're going to pause it right there and end it, actually. Just understand, these people are playing chess at chess. the highest checkers. level with you guys live. So you guys got to quit just believing shit that you hear oh from goodness. politicians. Stop My it. advice to you some help. is to put your life in your hands. Now, you, you don't have to. You keep believing this shit and they keep t pissing on you, telling this rank. I don't care. But just understand, this is their job. They have to lead millions of fucking people. So not they're not going to fucking That's crash fucking on their hilarious. dreams. They're just going to tell you what you want to hear, geek you up and say, yeah, we're going to do it. And then when, it, when the shit falls through, they're going to disappear. And somebody else is going to be in office doing the same shit, whether it's Republican or Democrat. Yes. Doesn't matter. So understand, always follow the money. See what people with money are saying. See what people with money are doing. Copy and, and keep your life out of politicians' hands. Shy reacts. Peace.